Hey everybody. So today what I want to walk you through is how to get started on Google Classroom. Now just keep this in mind that if you're watching this uh, video, you're probably haven't used it um, at all. And so um, like anything, it's going to take practice getting used to Google Classroom. But um, as, as, as soon as you get more practice, um, you're going to find that Google Classroom is very user friendly. Um, and one way that I suggest you just start getting some practice is uh, just simply um, posting your homework. That's probably the easiest baby step that you can take uh, in your, you know, your journey to using Google Classroom and all the powerful features that it offers. So I hope you enjoy this video and um, keep in mind that um, to unlock the, the potential of Google Classroom, you really want to get to that point where you have access to computers every day uh, and every student um, has a computer. But if that's not your situation there um, and you're not there quite yet, uh, like I said, um, Google Classroom is a great way to communicate with your students, post homework, um, and give them a platform where they can collaborate. So hope you enjoy this video and uh, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get to the website, um, classroom.google.com. Um, and so and if you Google it, it will give you the link and you can go ahead and click on the link. Then it's going to ask you to sign in. Uh, make sure you're using Google Chrome. It'll make things a lot much easier. Um, pick the account that you want to sign up with. Um, go ahead and uh, hit, give your password. And then it will take you to the uh, Google Classroom uh, homepage. Right? And so you want to focus on this plus button here. This plus button allows you to either join a class or create a class. So you can become a student or create a class um, as a teacher for your students. So in this particular instance, we want to create a class. And sometimes you get a couple menus um, that uh, you need to click through. Sometimes they ask you if you're a teacher or a student, make sure you click teacher if you're a teacher. Um, once you hit that create a class, you get this window. Um, and if you have a math class you want to do it for, okay, put math. Um, section and subject, um, all that is completely optional. And once you hit create, it will create, it will take you to your new Google Classroom page. So this is what um, your class, your Google Classroom um, would look like uh, for this particular class. Um, it has a stream, it has a um, tab for students, and an about section. All right. The stream is where you will post all your announcements or assignments. Um, and students is where you'll see which students are enrolled in your class. And the about section is where you can write things about your class. Um, and so, uh, so if you're watching this video, you're probably using it for the very first time. So you want to make your way over to this plus button over here in the bottom uh, right hand corner. And so here are all your options, right? So if you're using this for the very first time, try using it just by um, creating an assignment and posting your homework. All right, so I, I suggest you just start simple. And so you literally just type um, the title, uh, homework, and maybe it's a concept map that you want them to uh, complete. Um, and it gives you opportunities um, to give the due date. So um, if this homework is due, uh, let's say it's due tomorrow, the 31st, and you can tell your students that the time um, it's due by midnight. Um, and so now your, your students that are going to be enrolled are going to get a notification that um, tells them their homework concept map is due on October 31st by midnight. And you have all these options here to add documents to this assignment. Um, and so um, you can post it and once you assign it, Okay, the uh, assignment will post on the stream and your students can now will get a notification saying, hey, you have homework um, and it'll give them the due date. Um, so you can just try doing that. Um, now, how do you get your students into the classroom? So we wanna go to the students page, 
there's a class code here and the class code is what you want to display um, or give to your students and um, what your students are going to do is they're going to join the Google Classroom the same way we created one except they're going to click on join and they're going to type in the code um, and so you can make the code bigger in class if it's hard to see but once you have given them that code and they've joined your class you will see all the names of your students there to wait make your way back if you have multiple classes um, you want to make your way back to your multiple classes by clicking on this hamburger menu okay and you can click on classes and then if you make more than one class then you'll have multiple uh, of these uh, little tags here so um, that's how you get back into the class um, just by clicking in and try just posting your homework there and adding a couple documents that they might need to do a homework assignment um, and so and then what to check their assignments you click on the link and then you'll be able to see um, what students have done and what they've submitted um, so take a look play with it um, and um, if you have any questions you know leave comments at the bottom and um, I'll be sure to, to get back to you guys on that all right the next couple of videos I will discuss on how to add uh, documents to an assignment and so forth all right so good luck and have fun playing with Google Classroom